Hey everybody, my name is Drew Bragg. We are here in uh, beautiful Moab, uh, Utah, actually precisely at Swanee Park, uh, just getting things ready to roll for the 2019 edition of this year's Ro uh, Moab Rocks. I'm here with uh, Mr. Rotem Ishe. Uh, Rotem, he hails from uh, Durango, Colorado, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. So uh, we decided that uh, in this little get together, we talk about something near and dear to both our hearts, and that happens to be mountain bike racing. And we specify on racing because Rotem doesn't like to talk about just mountain bike mountain bike racing. Racing. It's yeah. All about racing. So Rotem, tell us a little bit about. Um, but how you got interested and involved with the Trans Rockies race series, uh, maybe start things off with the Moab Rock series. Yeah, I have to say it started, I think maybe three years ago or so when uh, I finished up my Olympic campaign and I was running for the Olympics, for cross country Olympics uh, uh, to represent Israel. And after two or three hard years of racing the circuit around the world, I got tired from the type of cross country Olympic format and I was looking for something else to put my passion into mountain bike racing and uh, it just happens I was finishing that whole campaign and there was just this race the single track six and I was like I want to try this I've never been to British Columbia I always heard about it uh, so I got there and really fell in love with the race and uh, that's how I got hooked up with the Trans Rockies family. So it's an interesting thing you mentioned coming from, uh, I mean, still as an elite athlete, but but someone who's kind of tapered a little bit from the highly competitive schedule that uh, that you would have undergone. Now coming into the race series, like the single track six, of course, this year, 2019, we're coming back with the Trans Rockies Classic, which was inaugurated back in 2002. And this week's event here in Moab with Moab Rocks. Uh, still, is that enough to keep the, uh, the fire's fuel. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. I have to say, it's enough to keep me uh, motivated through the hard winter we had with the snow and everything to uh, go on the trainer and roller and gym and knowing that this is gonna be my first uh, kind of stage race uh, to push myself because otherwise pushing through, through those hours, you know, during the winter is hard. It's a, it's a tough thing to stay motivated. I know not only from the cycling end of things, but I have lots of friends that are uh, elite level alpine ski racers and they say the same thing in the off season, being in the gym, being on the wind trainer, whatever it is, it's maintaining that focus and knowing that sooner or later you're gonna get a chance in this case, to throw a leg over a real bicycle yeah. and uh, wait for the proverbial flag to drop. Protem uh, is coming up to uh, Canada once more this year to participate in his first ever uh, Trans Rockies Classic, uh, which I mentioned earlier on. Uh, it was started back in 2002. This time around, it's uh, seven stages and uh, every single stage is a point to point except for stage number three which is an individual time trial out at Nipica Resort. Uh, what are you thinking about that? I know you talked a little earlier on, you're, you're, uh, you're excited to get back up north of the 49th parallel and we're stoked to have you come up and visit us. I have to say I'm very excited for this race because uh, I'm planning on racing it as duo. And that's the first time I'm racing any of the Trans Rockies as a duo. And I'm planning on doing it with a childhood friend of mine who is actually, he is the one who got me into mountain bike racing. So if my dad got me into mountain biking just as a sport for fun, uh, that person got me into racing and he's about four years older than me. He was the one that kind of took me in and went to Europe with me to travel and do races and we haven't really raced together for probably almost 10, 15 years. And he still stays in shape and races and we always keep in touch. He's like, you know, we gotta do it. And I told him, you have to come to Canada. You have to come to British Columbia to feel the trail. So we're gonna do it as well and it's gonna be pretty exciting. All right, well, we're very excited with the prospect of having both you and your friend come up and join us. Um, Trans Rockies events in general, is there a certain something, something that, that draws you to this? Because obviously uh, you can throw your name out there and be invited to just about any race series, anywhere you want to go in, in the Western States. What's it about TR that appeals to you? Trans Rockies, I'd say it's, it's the race promoters first focus on the experience where I feel a lot of race promoters focus on whether there'll be revenue, whether there'll be TV and how they can show the race in the media. Uh, Trans Rockies is first of, first of all about participant experience. And that's where Melba can start. You know, it's not about road racing and Tour de France and having helicopters and talking about everything in the, the background. It's just people really enjoying the ride and being in the moment and enjoying the ride. 
So yeah, you have big loops and you know your supporter, your girlfriend or whatever, they don't see you for the next three, four hours, but we have a lot of fun and we have a lot of things to share and tell them once we get back. So it's not racing around a small loop in the park, uh, which is good for the spe spectators, but not necessarily fun for the person to be at. Yeah, that's uh, one of the things. It's, uh, it's about being able to tell the stories and whether it's uh, here in Moab, Utah with the Moab Rocks, or up in Canada with the uh, Trans Rockies Classic for 2019. TRR, Trans Rockies Race Series, has lots of stories that have been told and lots more that are coming your way and will be told. Rotem Ishe, thanks very much, man. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. the time. Thank you so much.